Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I slick down my short 3C hair, TWA, teeny weeny afro, however you want to call it. Um, but I'm just going to be sharing with you the products that I use to slick down my hair, the steps, everything that I do. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and let's get into the video. Multiplying, I've been trying to get my way to stay in. So this this is my hair. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna use two products to sleek down my hair. I'll use the Eco Styler Black Castor Seed Oil, something, but it's the Eco Styler Gel, the green one, and then this is olive oil. So this doesn't give me as much as much hold as compared to this. That's why I mix both. This has a lot more like liquidy formula, and then I'm also going to just my hair is kind of wet but i'm going to make sure that it gets a little more damp because that's the only way i can work my way through it and that's the only way it can give you like a proper slick down you know when your hair is slightly wet that's the only way it will slick down like really nice i'm gonna start off by spraying some water into my hair i just have water in this spray bottle right here and you don't want to make it so wet I mean it's okay depending on your hair type my hair is 3c like you can see by the title so i don't like it's very soft on its own and i just took my shower so my hair is almost like it's almost wet so so i'm going to start off by working my way in sections i start off from the back like so i don't because my hair is not too much or like because my hair is not so grown i don't do like any particular step you know i don't part i don't do anything i just go ahead and use the product i'm going to start off by using the olive oil gel this doesn't give me any hold but it's, it's a nice gel see for like your curls and stuff like that so this is what i have so I'm just going to keep doing that with the olive oil and then I'll be topping it up with the Eco Styler Gel. And then you want to also brush while you go. So I have this brush here, I should have showed it in the beginning, but I have this brush, that's what I use for my hair. So you just want to brush it brushing it is what will make it lay down So if you want to have a pattern on whichever side, I want to have my pattern here. So um, yeah, you should go ahead and do that before you get to the front part of it, just so that you're able to style it in that like that order. So because I want my hair to go like that, I'm just going to add it to that. See? And then just do my parting well. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh, I'm on hiatus. Oh, baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. Take it first 
getting over We just building It's my season, lay foundation Make a name for generations Please and make a And take a break or A little vacation And chasing blues away You always posting a pictures Trying to look like you winning Or look like you always be working Soaking the moments you live in Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus The next tip, you want to take a brush, an actual brush And then, this is what is the sleek down So you just So see what I'm doing? Oh, oh it gives it the perfect swoop and then it just further flattens your see it just makes it very flat so however if I want to give it a particular like see if I want to do this whatever I want to do This is what I do. Try to cover my edges <laughs> like so. And then I just brush it down. Taking just be. Personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. Man so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my blow dryer. Usually I will just put a scarf over it, which I still will do. But usually I'll just put a scarf over it and walk around the house, wait for it to dry. Um, Another thing is if you put a scarf on it directly after I like I mean immediately after you do this it makes The scarf and the hair and the gel and everything can stick together. It gives you some white lines It's not cute. It's not cute. So I like for it to dry a little bit at least before I go in with my scarf so I'm gonna put this on cool and which is basically cold air and Yeah Time out ahead and just scuff this in place what I use is a durag just a basic durag um, but one thing about a durag is because of the thing that it has here you know the stitch thing that it has here it usually leaves a line <laughs> which I absolutely hate so I flip it inside out I flip it over so I use I use the front as the back rather if you if it makes sense and i'm just gonna use that to hold my hair in place but i'm not gonna go so much over my edges because i have something else that i use for my edges so i'm just gonna use this for like the main hair and when you put your durag on don't forget to pull it from behind just so that it's tight because you're looking for a sleek down look and you don't want to tie the knot up here because it will also leave a dent here and you don't want to do that <laughs> so I take it around again and then I do the knot at the back like so and now I'm gonna take this silk um, hairband just a regular silk hairband I prefer the silk hairband to the durag for my edges because my edges are very light the hair there the hair that i have here is very light so this and this together literally i don't know i don't know i'm sure you get it like i when i put the durag directly on my edges every time that i try to take it off i have problems like my hair is either coming off with a durag or my edges are messed up like so i always use a silk 
and then I wait for my edges to sort of dry a little bit before I do that. So yeah. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. So this is, yeah, this is it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on. Do my makeup. Do anything that I have to do. And then I'll take it off after. It won't completely dry because there's a lot of gel and water. So usually it's advisable you do this overnight, sleep with it, and then the next morning, boom, your hair will be good. So if you want to do it like quick, daytime, use a blow dryer. And another tip is you can definitely add some got to be, got to be spray, not gorilla glue, got to be spray, okay? <laughs> hairspray you can use that to toughen it up a little more that's going to make it a little more tough and like hard you know and it's going to make it dry faster so whichever one suits to definitely do it but i'm going to go ahead and do my makeup do a few things and then come back and i'll show you guys how it looks like hey guys so scarf off this is what we have it's not completely dried like i told you guys in the beginning it won't completely dry especially if you have a lot of hair you have to do it the night before that's the only way if you need to wear it like today you can't do it today it doesn't work like that you have to do it the night before but my hair is pretty short and i just needed to film a video so i don't need to like go out or anything but yeah this is this is what it looks like I'm just gonna show you guys the back because my hair is really grown in the back. So the back will the back will not be able to be as slicked down as like the front part is. But yeah, nobody really cares about the back. You know what I mean? Everybody knows that the back is grown. But yeah, this 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 is what it looks like. This this is how I slick down my 3C hair um, and all the products that I use to slick it down. It's not so hard. It's very if I'm not doing it on camera, it's very fast to do. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you. So, so that's it. That's it for how I sleek down my 3C hair. Showing you guys the process, the steps. I mean the steps and the products that I use to get this look. I'll leave all the products in the description box down below. Just in case anyone is interested. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done that. And turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload. As well as give us a like. Give us a like. Okay? Give this video a huge thumbs up if you haven't already done that. If you like it, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.